Hey everyone, in this video we are releasing a new project called BO3 Enhanced. This is going to let you use the Windows Store version of the game with the Steam files. The reason you're going to want to do that is because the Windows Store version of the game has massively improved performance. I mean like 200 plus FPS, much faster load times, and it also has slightly better security. So I'll definitely use this version of the game if you can. This project was made by myself and Emma. If you don't know who Emma is, she worked on the BO3 Mac fix, which lets Mac players play with Windows players again and use the Mac port of the game online. She also helped with the T7 patch Linux support, and she does all like all sorts of cool modding projects. So if you're into like reverse engineering and stuff, go check her out. I'll have a link in the description. Um, this video is going to show you how to install this and set this up. You need to be able to acquire the Windows Store Black Ops 3 files I'm going to show you the way to do this legit. If you find another way to do this, like just getting the files from somebody, that's fine too. But this is like the legal and legit way. So go ahead and buy the Black Ops 3 multiplayer starter pack from the Windows Store page and install it. It's going to be like 15 bucks and like 50 gigabytes. After you install the files, you can refund the game if you want because the files don't get deleted and you can still run them even after. So just saying... You don't have to do that, but you can if you want. Um, wherever you install it, you're going to want to open that folder, and there should be two folders. There should be Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and there should be the COD BO3 MP starter pack. As long as you have these, you're good to go. You're also going to need to download the UWP dumper file and the uh, BO3 enhanced files. These will be in the description of the video, so just download the like first zip file from each link. Okay, once you have these, go ahead and go to like some folder, it doesn't matter where, and just extract the UWP dumper and injector. And then go into the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 folder, go into content, and place the BO3 enhanced files inside there. And now the game is going to steal my mic from me, so I'm going to have to re-record over this, but we're going to go ahead and launch the game and dump it. Okay, go ahead and launch Black Ops 3. Then go and launch the UWP injector.exe and look for the Black Ops 3 entry in the list and put the process ID from Black Ops 3 into the input and then hit enter. You want to make sure your game loaded first. Then it's going to output a bunch of files and whenever it gets to like the part where it's doing base.xpack, you can stop and then just go to the top, grab the dump path and copy it. And once you have the dump path, you can just close the game and then just go to the dump path. And try to close my game there. Okay. Once we went ahead and go to the dump folder, you can go ahead and delete this .start file. We don't need that. And your dump should look something like this. You can also delete the zone and video folders. You don't need those anymore. And as long as you have all these files, you're good to go. Um, again, this is the legit way to do it. So if you get to this point, you're going to have everything good to go. If you get these files some other way, the most important thing to do is to right click on the EXE that you downloaded and go to the digital signatures and make sure that it says it's by Activision Publishing. Um, you need this digital signature. If it doesn't have it, something changed in the EXE and I wouldn't trust it. Um, you may also need to verify all of the DLLs, but the legit way is the safest way to do it. So just saying. Um, <clears throat> Okay, once you have all these files, I'm going to show you how to put them in your Steam folder. So just go into Steam and go into your Black Ops 3, right-click it, go to Properties, go to Installed Files, and hit Browse. It's going to pull up your BO3 root installation. You should see, like, BO3.exe and stuff. i got a bunch of extra stuff in here because I mod the game all the time, but you're going to see a lot less. But as long as you see, like, you know, most of this stuff, you're good. Um, then just go to your dump and just drag and drop and replace files. And as long as everything went well, you can go back into Steam and just hit play. And it should launch the modified like Windows Store version of the game now. <clears throat> the game is going to steal my mic from me again in a second. But, okay, I think, yeah, I think it cut me off. But yeah, I'm just going to show you guys like a little bit about the game, uh, this version of the game. Uh, as long as you see BO3 Enhanced at the top right, you're good to go. Um, from this point forward, it's all going to be me rambling about stuff about this build. So if you were just here for the installation, you're good to go. Like under five minutes, I think. So I'm good. So this version of the game is kind of cool. First of all, you can see the FPS is much better in the menus. We're not getting the drops and everything. This does have the built-in T7 patch features. Um, only It doesn't have most of the security fixes, but it does have the network password, which is the most important one. 
It has fixes for the like specific remote crashes, and it has support for the t7patch.conf. If you've never used this, this is like what the Linux people usually use, but um, this is basically like how you manually edit the t7patch config. And like you can change your player name in here. It only this these changes only apply on reboot. So um, I can set a network password. And like yeah, you can have all this stuff in here. But uh, that's just for people who want to know. Like if you don't know what t7patch is and you're just watching this video, don't worry about it. Um, but if you do know what t7patch is, that's how you do that. You cannot use the regular version of t7patch with this. It does not work. So don't even try. Okay, so. Uh, really quickly, I want to show you guys the improved performance. Uh, first of all, just to like show it off, yeah, you can go and like matchmake. Um, there's nobody online right now, but yeah, you can go like matchmake and play with Steam players. It's got all your Steam stuff, so it's got like my modded Liquid Diviniums. It's got like, you know, like all this stuff basically. Um, okay, so really quickly, let's load up Origins. And if you guys have used Origins on the Steam version of the game, you know that it takes forever to load, and it also takes, it has like a huge lag spike in the beginning. So the cutscene is starting, and I think it'll take about five seconds. And we're in. That's how fast the loading is. And usually there's a big lag spike at the start of the map on the Steam version, and there's just nothing. It's buttery smooth. And I mean, I'm recording a video right now, and I'm still at above 200 FPS. I mean, it's it's like it's nothing. It's just crazy how good the performance is without Arxan on this build. And if you guys uh, were not familiar with the reason why the performance on Steam is so bad, it's because of Arxan, which is their, like, DRM solution to, like, protect the game from theft. Uh, they did not ship on any Call of Duty except for Infinite Warfare. They did not ship Arxan on the Windows Store. So... All of these builds are unprotected, which also means things like the anti-cheat are completely disabled. Uh, like, I can launch this this game with a debugger attached, because I completely killed the anti-cheat. And I'll have a blog post coming up about how I did that within the next few weeks, at some point. Uh, but yeah, so like this, this version of the game is really nice. And there's a couple things in this build that don't work right now. Uh, the friends list doesn't work because we're going to have to like do a ton of work to even get that to work. I don't know whether we're even going to do it. So that's something to be aware of. And then also the game chat doesn't work. So you can't use your mic and you can't use your text chat. Those do, do not work with this version of the game. Um, but everything else works. And this is just like overall a, a better build to use. Something you should be aware of too, certain mods do not work uh, because they're using DLLs built for the other version of the game. If you find one of those mods, you can talk to us about it, but we're probably just going to tell you to go talk to the developer of the mod. So if like, you know, uh, all around enhancement or like those kind of mods that have like tons of stuff or like ZBR, for example, it's, you're just going to have to wait for the mod developer to add support for this version of the game if you want to use it. So that's also something to be aware of, but Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this project. Uh, updates will be delivered through the Steam Workshop, so you don't have to like watch the GitHub or anything. The code for how we did that is on GitHub, so you can go check it out if you're curious. I'm not going to promise any updates. I am still like retired. This was just a random thing that Emma and I thought would be fun to do, so we just did it. Anyways, yeah, see you all in the next one.